guys, welcome back and happy Friday. <laughs> I got my shirt from Old Navy. It was on sale, I don't know, a week and a half ago for $8, $7, and it's a pajama top, but I don't care because it's super cute as a shirt, a daytime shirt. So, um, last night, Daryl and I went to a concert, and you know my BFF, Kathy, in, in Seattle? Well, her husband, he's an author. He's written several books. Um, he has a Christmas book called At the Manger. He wrote that years ago. And then he also writes like fantasy books, kind of like the D&D &D type of stuff. And um, he also, uh, this pa these past few years, has been composing and producing and putting together um like, is it a musical? Well, it's very much like the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Um, in fact, he's got a couple of people in the band that are former Trans-Siberian Orchestra members. And um, so we went to this concert and, uh, you know, Peter wrote the story. His name's Peter Orillion. He wrote the story. And so it comes out, you know, a guy comes out and he's narrating about, it's called the bell ringer. And he's narrating about this bell ringer on Christmas Eve. And, he, you know, he's on hard times and he's ringing the bell, you know, for money. And it talks about these different people that he encounters throughout the night while he's doing it. And the, the love and lessons he feels and learns along the way and then um, in between the narration you know the band members will come out and they'll play music and different people will come out and sing the stories that go along with it and um, Peter sings about four or five songs and then some other members sing it was incredible and it was amazing and I have a CD and I have his t-shirt and yeah, he's not paying me to say this. I am just plugging it for him for free. And I took some video of the concert last night, so I will insert it now. Oh, so this is the little bar. Yeah, this is crazy. Cool, it's even got a little outdoor fire yeah. pit.
and some memories going to be quite enough. Kids like him needed bellmen like this. I came for the one and left all the rest. The man raised a hand and together they stood. So yeah, we had a blast. So his, his, his band name is called Symphony North, and then the album is called The Bell Ringer, and it's like a rock opera. It's amazing. I'll, here's the, here is it right there. The Symphony North, though. So yeah. Anyway. It's amazing. And another thing that's amazing is this snack. I have Ritz crackers, I have cream cheese, and then I forgot to tell you, I bought this at the Christmas festival that I went to last weekend. It's called Jam It Up, home-produced raspberry holy habanero jam. Okay, it is raspberry jam that has jalapeno juice or something in there. So it's not, you can't really taste the jalapeno flavor. I mean, it's there a tiny bit, which is really good, but there's a little bit of heat to it. Oh, my mouth is watering. And um, we got to have a sample of it, and I was like, I want that. And so it was $6 for this jar, and it is so good. They, it's got sugar, raspberries, pectin, habanero, lemon juice, and... That's it. And it's made in American Fork, Utah. So I, I, I'm starving. I gotta have some right now. So I like whipped cream cheese, so that's what this is. It's whipped. And I just take a little bit like that. And I just take a tiny bit of the jam, because it's really strong. It's like really rich. You don't need a lot, and it's, it spreads well, it goes a long way. So here it is. Mm. I feel the kick. Mm-hmm. It is so good. This would go good in little wieners, like in barbecue sauce. <clears throat> oh, it is so good. <laughs> but I like it just as is on a cracker with cream cheese. Just how the guy had it. It's amazing. If you can find anything like this, in your stores, try it. It's amazing. I just heard something. It sounded like my roof was falling in. I don't know. It sounded like metal. There's no ice or icicles or anything to melt and slide off and make noise. So this here will be my lunch. I had a stomach ache this morning. My not like a bad one, but like I had to lay down. I wasn't nauseous or anything. It was just I just didn't feel good. So I stopped working at about 10.45 and then laid down and then for some odd reason I got up and got dressed. 
So today we have to put together my neighbor. <laughs> my neighbor gift packages. It's like it doesn't burn on your tongue. It just burns back here on your throat. It just burns your esophagus. But it's a good burn. It makes you just want to gag it up. But it's so good. Mm -hmm. The burn is only there for two or three seconds. My house is a mess. It's a mess. I mean, look at all this. Daryl brought these home from his work. Somebody gave him a big old box of chocolates. These came from Costco. They're Kirkland brand. Somebody made this and it's just like a pencil holder and it's solid wood and it's awesome. I told Daryl, you need to take that to your work and put it on your desk. Show the person, the employee who gave it to you that you're enjoying it. So I think he's gonna take that back to work. And then somebody made, gave us these from his work. They're called chill pills. And these probably came from the Dollar Tree, these little plastic jars, I don't know. And then they're just Rolos. Take a chill pill immediately following an encounter with an individual that can be described as one of the following. Frustrating, dense, stubborn, annoying, or loud. That's cute. So we got those. And then our friends, Daryl's best friend, he's Japanese and so we get fortune cookies every year. His wife dips them, like half of them in white chocolate. So they'll be like green and red. And then he gave us a gift card. It's called Mo Betta's Hawaiian Style Food. So we got a gift card for that. And yeah, I still haven't eaten these beautiful cookies from my neighbor yet. I ate the Christmas tree ones. They're really crunchy now, but that's okay. But I just don't want to eat them. I want to shellac them and hang them on the tree. So if you remember, maybe some of you don't. I went to Target a while back and I bought these. These are the Andes Milk Chocolate Crunch Thins. They're the mint mint cookie crunch thins and I thought they would taste kind of like the Hershey's mint nuggets you know how they got the cookie crumbles in them they don't I mean they taste like Andy's mints with chocolate cookie they're still really good I was just hoping they taste more like um, a thin mint but it's okay so I got my neighbors one of these and then these Jelly Belly Beans. These are the holiday favorites. They've got pumpkin pie, eggnog, cranberry sauce, hot chocolate, and candy cane flavors. Aren't those so cute? So I was just gonna give them one of those. And I have these bags. I don't remember if I used these ones last year or not. But... I'm just gonna, let's see, put it in the bag like that. And then, it's gonna look like that. And then, I don't have the little twist ties. Um, maybe I should do Well, I was going to do twist ties and this ribbon. So let me see what I can find. All right. I got some Chanel stems and I'm still using this ribbon up, so I'll use that. And then I found some cute um, labels, two from labels, that will go cute with this. Remember, I bought these at 
Walmart to go on them as well. They're like little holiday trucks. So fun! I'm just gonna get this going. Let's see how I play this off. Actually, I need to cut this in half. Give it a twist. Okay, so it looks like that. And then we'll take a piece. Oh. And this. And do I want to tie a bow or just because if you tie a bow you have to use more ribbon but if you just tie it in a knot I think I'll just tie it in a knot since I've got the little car trucks the little trucks so I'll just cut like that much off And I kind of like to tuck it under the wire so it doesn't slide up. So I'll give it a little tie like that. And then, let's see. These are all taped. Plastic. I thought they were glass, but they're plastic, which is good. And I'll do that. Okay, now I'm going to put my um, tag on. is about to fall off. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to glue that. So anyway, there. I'm done. I noticed that this new spool of red tool is kind of not as dark as the other one, so it kind of looks red with a tint of orange in it, but it's all right. It's red. It's red. But see, like, here's the new one, here's the old one. They're a little different in color. That's okay. So I'm just going to put them in here and then I'll have a nice bag to be able to hold on to while I make my rounds. I'm slacking. I should have already taken these and passed them out. I just love doing stuff like this. I love it.
I just love making things cute and festive with packages and ornaments. walk around with my little bag all right I'm gonna be right back I'm just gonna hurry make my rounds I totally have to wear my sunglasses because if I don't my eyeballs will start watering um because it's cold and I just have sensitive eyes I have sensitive eyes okay where did I put my stuff oh okay okay I'll be right back okay operation neighbor gift complete I just dropped them off on the doorsteps and everybody's dog was barking at me making all this ruckus I was like oh stop so I just have one more to deliver to my friend Leanne and I made her a scarf as well a Christmas scarf I crocheted her one so I need to get that to her but if she's home you know, we'll probably chit chat for a while. So I wanted to get my errands run first. So we have to go to the Walmart, duh. Because Daryl wants some crew for his hair. It's like a hair gel styling cream. And he has a lot left in his jar, but he said he wanted another one. I'm like, okay. So I'm gonna go get that at Walmart. Yeah, that's about it, you know what I mean? I thought about going to Dollar Tree and maybe just getting some candy for a sock. I'm back. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got a bunch of um, candy and snacks for Daryl's stocking. And then I went, to, of course I went to Walmart and I found these leggings and I'm hoping I like them. They are just like the Christmas ones that I have with the cats on them, and I loved those, and I was hoping they had some in black, and they did. So I'm hoping they're just like the other ones. And then I got this sweater, you guys. I caved, and I finally got it. I could not help myself. It was $20, and that makes me sick, but... Yep, I had to have it. If I waited for it to go on clearance, it wouldn't be there. So, yep, I got it. It says... Merry and bright. Merry and bright. It's so cute. So I'm going to get that washed and I'm going to wear it on Christmas Eve. Here are the leggings that I am I'm talking about. They have the same ones in black. So I'm really hoping that these feel and fit the same as those. Because they're the same thing. Just all in black. But I love these so much. And I got these in large. And they don't fit snug and tight like leggings. They're kind of loose, but that's fine. They still looked really cute, and so I got the black ones. So these are in large. They didn't have medium anyway, so... Yep, I'm going to have to try these on later and see how I like them. And then I'm going to try my sweater on and see how I like that later, too. So I wanted to show you my ghetto tree. Another row of lights went out. So... As we know, the very tippy top has gone out and I added a strand of lights. Well, the other night we were watching TV and all of those lights were on right there. And we were watching TV and all of a sudden, all the lights in that section got so bright. They just all went super bright and we thought like the ghost of Christmas past was coming. They were so bright. We were like, what? And then, poof, they turned off. Yep. So we have that off, and then the middle row off. I, I just don't know what to think. So it is what it is. And my star is more crooked than ever. So, it's staying that way and I don't care. It's 5.30. Daryl should be home 
within the next half hour. And today was his work party, his work Christmas party. And I'm anxious to see what all treats he gets to bring home. Um, today I had to get him his wieners. <laughs> I, he wanted to take some little wieners for his food, so I got the little crock pot out and got his wieners out, <laughs> and put him in a sack with some sauce. I put it all in a sack with some sauce, and he took it to work and put it all together himself, but yeah. So, if we probably won't go out to dinner or anything because he said he's going to be so full from all the garbage he's had today, which is fine, but I'm anxious to see what all treats he gets from his people. One of my neighbors just stopped by with a neighbor gift. She brought me uh, Welch's sparkling grape juice. Mmm. Welch's is the best one. Welch's. It's the sweetest.